Hello and welcome back to Imperator Rome. My name is Materius and welcome back to Super Asia. We are becoming quite strong. We are a regional power and we had to fight off a lot of wars in the last episode. Our current queen or at least leader is slowly coming to her end of her age and we need to create a little bit of order and we want to take a few more lands but we kind of need to get the money up and running first because we are in the minus so we have way too many armies and we got no allies there are no regional powers nearby that can help us so let's see if we can do something on the money situation can we delete yeah we could really delete some forts guess this one would be alright. We still have... I think we need to unpause the game first. Also, let's see who wants to trade. Because yes, we do need somebody, but we need to pick wisely because we want to take this land as well. So making a trade alliance with them isn't good. But, yeah, they're on our vessel, they're paying us 0.5 ducats every, I think every month it is. But can we somehow integrate them into our great nation? Is there any option in this game to do that? I really wonder. And I haven't really looked into that. So if you guys do... Put it in the comment down below, but I kind of only see the fabricate claim, and that's not the thing we want. That we need to get them out of our country first or unvessalize them. I don't think there's really an option in it. Would be no normal to be able to integrate a land somehow. You can do it in EU4, but, well, this isn't EU4. So I guess this isn't an option. We can improve our land. Yeah, well, let's do that for now. Let's see if some other option pop up. Now let's do the trading. Which country... Which are they? You the one at the bottom there, and as you can see, if I hover over them, they light up. That one, yeah. All right, we got some armies left. I kind of want to merge them up, but I think they're all clan armies. Yes, they do look like clan armies. Let's get a new arbitrator. All girls? No, just any other one we can replace. So this is the goal. We are going first for the form the Great Iberi Iberia. Uh, we need a few more countries for that. As you can see, the blue little country in Germania. Almost would pronounce it like Germany, but it would be wrong. That's one country we need. We need our vessel. We still have some loyal cohorts. I wonder if we pay for them. I'm, I'm not quite sure. We need to get stability up because we got a lot of aggressive expansion. But we're doing pretty well. This is my second run after the tutorial, so, well, I am doing pretty well. Let's change up, let's make some more money. Conversion of the culture is, is kind of something we need to think over. A lot of them have already been converted, and it is giving us a lot of unrest, and there's both the Celtic Iberian group, so 
should we really be doing this? Give me a thought. What do you think? Should we all be of the same subculture? Because that's kind of what it is. But for now we need to stabilize everything. And that's going to take some time. But we also need this blue little dot in the top. So let's bring our armies up and... Do we have a cross belly on him? I think we do or not. Yeah, no, show naval superiority and show the... Alright, so we need to fabricate a claim first. Well, that isn't a hard thing because we got enough diplo points. If you got some good tips, tricks, things I should do with my diplo point and with my zealous points, leave it in the comment down below. I would love hearing your guidance and your thoughts on that. Now, can we still do some imports? We have to keep checking it because we got some trade routes open uh, because we're now regional power. And our capital, I think, has moved. Yeah, because it was in the left south. I think, yeah, that, that was the capital because I... Well, I did improve somewhere with buildings. But where? Hmm. I think we still need to delete a fort and make more money. We're still losing money, so that's, that's something we cannot sustain forever. Alright, army's in, in position and... Ooh, a few... So the tribe must have come forward today to ask the settler ownership of something, uh, some gold. Hmm. Are you? You're the Branny family, so you are kind of important. But who's the other one? But I kind of need the money. Hmm. Uncle Branny is going to take the money for Superior. We just need it. Yeah, that that's how we do it because I don't think the other one is interesting. The sister of a general. No, we don't mind. We need money and that's the thing. I kind of need to build up some buildings. Yeah, we are. We do need more money, so let's uh, change this up a little bit. Always nice, a bond of childhood. Going to bug me later on in the game. I definitely do think so. That's going to happen. All right, now we've changed this and as you can see we are running slightly in the plus and we need to get it the loyal province because the minus tax is killing us and I want to be having loyal provinces. So that's going to be the main focus. After that we can do some building that way we can make them even more happy. At the moment we cannot build the marketplace and that kind of stuff. The unrest is just too high. The aggressive expansion will tick down, as does the time. Yeah, and we can also sacrifice to the god. That will also help stability and also, yeah, a lot of other stuff. All right.
right. Let's take a look at our leader. Any other interesting stuff? We got a three clan shift. Kind of want to keep it that way. Is there any way we can improve? No. Enslavement. That this would be nice getting some slaves so maybe we should do that in later on because slaves give some good money all right my government let's see if we get a better one and i guess we do yeah let's take her and as usual i click the wrong button all right now we got a nice arbitrator she looks nice and she smells like nice and well she's smart and loyal any other people we can replace no, that's seven for seven. That's not a good deal. No, nope. nothing else. All right. Any laws that will help us? No, I don't think so. No. All right. Now from Empower, let's slowly. Well get that all together but we also want to do a little war but oh that's kind of in a way so for now we need to take the aggressive expansion down and after that we are going to take the little lands that we need how's the loyalty doing still not good Hills of two cities. All right, what's this? Because this is one I haven't had before, and it is about local tax and unrest. So that's quite important because you need to pick the right uh, province with the most uh, markets and that kind of stuff. Well, and it kind of were the most slaves, but I don't have many slaves. I I think we don't even have any slaves. All right, let's see in which city is which. I think I need to look it up because I don't know where the city is. There it is. All right. Which one is the other one? Should be neighbors. So I guess. Mons Rubians and Uteris. Where is. I already lost where the other one was. Mons Rubian. That's this one. All right. It's got one. Got no marketplaces, nothing. Kind of average, normal province. And the other one is this one. We've got markets and a lot of citizens, and we definitely need to keep them happy. So I guess this is going to be the decision and uh, yes, Arteris is going to get what, get the extra tax. Right. Now we need the loyal province to become, or this loyal province to become a little bit loyal. Well, let's now speed up the time and let's wait some time. So, all right, we got some new trades over us. Who are you and who are you? All right, you're the one in the bottom. Where's the other one? 
Yeah, the one. Accept the offer. More money. Just a little bit. Can we do some more trading? No. As usual, nothing. It's kind of annoying, and I don't know why, because we should have a big range. I don't know why. Alright, let's see if we can do anything to improve. Alright. Ceasefire is almost done, I guess. We still have some cost bellies, but... We were doing something, but I forgot what. Manpower is still low. Need 800 men. Time is ticking and aggressive war expansion is slowly lowering, but the loyalty is moving up that fast. And I kind of wanted to have a full bar or something like that. I shouldn't have let it tick, tick down this, this much. I guess I'm also reinforcing those locals. Alright, more money is always good, but we do get a little bit of corruption for this one. Hmm. And I really don't know what to do with all the civic points. So, what to do? I kind of not want to have any corruption, but the money is tempting. Hmm. Yeah, well, I need I need a goal for my civic points. That that's definitely something we going to need. All right, we're finally lost the aggressive expansion. We got some tyranny, but well, uh, let's take the country. Declare war, move our armies in pretty fast. And let's have some fun. Just a little war to get time going. We want two armies, alright. That's one army stack wiped. And one general. Yeah, we captured him. Right, now we need to take the fortress. And I kind of want to take it without that much... Uh, uh, without losing that much manpower. Right. Warriors Hunter. Uh, this is always a tricky one. Because I do get a little more loyalty. Or more discipline, or else we are going to lose stability. And stability is something I cannot afford at the moment. If we were in a big surplus, I would go for the stability hit. But, hmm. Yeah, we'll have to take that one. Alright, and now... I guess we're going to go... It's a civic or the manpower recovery. Which one is the wisest one to take? Yeah, I guess we're going to do the Pacific. Alright, on pause, let's take the land and... Look at all the coast kind of small. Loyal troops, and we can command. No, we, yeah, can we can command them. Let's try and get them to one position. We cannot merge them, why not? 
I guess because it's a clan army. Hmm, strange. Then we'll join you guys up with that one. Alright, let's take a look at the loyalty of the province. How fast is it going up? Not fast. Not fast at all. Red-handed. We get this one pretty often. Let's get our new and wise one. Commonus Magnumus. Any technology coming in? No, not at all. Would have been nice if we if you could speed this up a little bit more but we need way more citizens yes. right reading host we're just waiting time Let's check again if there's something because we have improved relationships with them. Can we still only cancel tribute and, and there is no new options to make them integrate in our country? Kind of pity, really a pity. Would be a lot of fun. If that was possible, because then we didn't have to wage a war. Would have been so nice if that was possible. Alright. Gonna trade over. Yeah, let's do that one. It's taking a long time for them to take the fortress. What is happening? Oh, I see, I have two less men to take. Alright, new skill gain, excellent. We could use the extra 10%. Alright, now we are taking the fortress, damn. Noob mistake. Alright. Split it up and get some more people out that way. We got a little bit less attrition. And now we finally take the land. It's about time. Wasted a lot of time watching, doing, doing nothing. We lack commander. Yes, that's the split up troops. Can we import something? No, 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 no. Disloyal provinces. This slowly the loyalty is going up, but not going that fast. 19%. I wonder if once we get loyalty up of this province, the other one will slowly fall in line as well. We still do a little bit of conversion there, but well. Shouldn't be the biggest problem. All right, come on, fortress, come on, fortress. 35, yes, thank you. Going from 28 to 35, I wonder if these numbers deviate. Let's take a look at the world. 
So we got Cornival Istria, big country in the world, wealth, Katash, and ooh, what has happened to Rome? What is going on? Rome has totally been crushed, something like that. I guess being Rome isn't the best place on earth. So, all right, we've took the country. Now let's sue for peace and get all your money. Always good. Thank you. And let's see if they now let just cruise fan that. All right, we got a young rascal. That's the friend for life guy. He wants to give me all his money. He, the hustle of voice has spoken of a vision in the near future in which he was found by his loved one. He'd been burned at stake. So, all right, well, you can give me your money. I think what's the issue here? Yeah, let's just get the money. Always good. All right, we took the country. Let's merge the army back together. And uh, thank you. And let's see what we can do in promotion. Get our land up a little bit. Infrastructural expenditures is always a good thing. Can we do more? Because we got some points to spend. Yeah, let's just do it. Anything we can do here to improve their loyalty? Yes, we can. We should have done that sooner. Let's see what are we going to do. Nothing else we can do. And our magistrate has died. All right. Fill up the positions. Take a look at the loyalty. There are not many good ones. Still, this is kind of strange. Rome being so small. Egypt is going quite crazy. And Maria. Alright. Well, that's those countries we don't have anything to do with. Alright. What's next on the list? Anyway, we got a fortress again. Do we need to or are we going to delete it? I guess not yet. Maybe later on. And really trapment. Alright. Guess with no war. Don't want to lose stability. Yeah, let's use the military power. I guess there's really no option to integrate uh, them. There's, there's no way. So I guess we just have to uh, let them go. And then take the land for us, so that's the only way. Guess we need to wait a little bit, wait some time. Six, yeah, now we can bring our armies in position because I want to take this battle fast, quick, and clean. And. Let's do this. 
just one little war before the end of this video. 8,000 troops moving in and they're moving away so I guess we are going to catch them. I guess we do. Yeah, we do. Nice, 16,000. And look at them being crushed. Our general is already is, is quite better than there. So let's uh, one army move after those running scoundrels. As you can see, because of the the fortress, they automatically take land. Not what I wanted, but there's not something really I can do about it. I should have brought some troops to the south or something like that. Could do that. Yeah, should have done that. Because else everything will keep moving. All right. Local Freeman, that's always good. Now it's just a matter of time until we got the countries we need. Sorry, Pops kinda makes sense because we are in a war area. All right, armies move in. Come on, come on, come on. Take the the, the moral solo. If we catch them, they get crushed quite easily. Ooh, what is this, Marshall? We got some new thing, but we got so many points that we can immediately take everything. Siege effect, fort defense, and the last one is military tradition that was a piece of cake and because we got so many points all right look at their i mean their their loyalty is so low there's some moral so low that it's easy better still we got a lot of people left we need to keep running after them so let's try and get more troops in the area so we can take it and because we are already past 30 minutes with the field but i kind of want to take the country before yeah because it's, it's becoming crazy quite a nice big country super rich, yeah. we only need a few more lands for the great iberia we get a lot of things after that all right Let's try and take down that army. This time we're going to stay with one army, go with a fresh army. And, well, even though they were, weren't that experienced, move that army to that section. Trying to run away. But they also don't lose a lot of troops because they don't fight us, they only flee and that's quite annoying. Alright, caught right handed again, come on, can we be not taking money from me? No, we need to need a general again. And a new magistrate. That's not good. Come on, can we just take down that army? Because we already are almost taken their whole country. Oh, come on. 28. I wonder once we've taken their main city, what will happen to that army? I guess we need to destroy it. The morals are so low. So low, 3000 men left. Alright, and we won. 
the siege. Now we only need to destroy that army. It's all we Come on, come on, come on. I'll just stack wipe them. Hmm. And we keep running after them. And finally we got them. Alright, let's peace out and take all their money and land. 82 ducats. Alright. And do we got any good families? No. No. And you... Uh, those are both dead, only one living relative left. Alright, last two. No, and... No. Got a lot of friends. Little baby, but well... If you have to crucify them, you have to crucify them all. Right, this is how cool Super Achia looks now, and I hope you guys all enjoyed it. In the next episode, we are going to take the last few countries that we need to create the Great Iberia, or at least first part of it, because it's we need to take the whole of Spain. But well, come to that, we'll come to that. And I hope you guys all enjoyed this episode. Leave your comment down below if you haven't already, and press the like button.